I came to North Broward in ninth grade, excited for high school. I remember my first pep rally. I was talking to a friend of mine who had been in North Broward for a while, and when I told him how excited I was for my first high school pep rally, he responded with, oh, you're gonna be disappointed. North Broward doesn't really like that. Nobody cares about this stuff. Nobody cares about this stuff. I was taken aback and ultimately disappointed. I hate to say it, but he wasn't completely wrong. Many students showed a lack of engagement and care for the wonderful event they were witnessing. How can we have such little desire to get involved and do something great? And how can a high school lack such coveted school spirit? Two years as a legislator and a year as class president later, I know a policy change can't fix this. Trust me, we've tried. Spirit Week, Sadie Hawkins dances, Iguana Tours. All of these things were great, yes, but they didn't create long-term change, just success in the short term. Now that's not to say we haven't gotten better. Since 2017, I've seen a tremendous improvement on involvement and spirit, and I can tell you firsthand, it's only gonna get better. But we're still gonna be far away from our goals without the right mindset. Imagine a world where events you've been looking forward to for years are canceled, and you skipped out on other ones because you thought there was opportunity for more. Well, that's the reality for this year's seniors. Seize opportunity. Make the most of your time here. Class of 2024, welcome. You're in for a ride. Class of 2023, you have three years left. Cherish your sophomore year while you can. Class of 2022, make sure you prepare for the most important year of your life, but have fun. You'll remember that just as much. My beloved class of 2021, it's our last year as kids. Let's make it count. In a way, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. People don't care because other people don't care. Well, something's gotta change. We need a culture shift in North Broward, a movement, a campaign for us, not student government or the administration. I've been a legislator, I've been a class officer, and most importantly, I'm a student. I know what we want and I know what it takes to get there. And it won't just take one person. All of us have to be in this together. Under my leadership, we will see a culture shift for us and nobody else, but only if you're with me. Hi, my name is Lena Kalonjan and I hope to be your next executive vice president. My junior year will be my 14th year at MBPS. I'm a member of the varsity basketball team and varsity track and field team, and I'm a proud member of the MBPS Chamber Orchestra Underwater Robotics Team, and I'm an active member of four clubs. Freshman year, I was my advisory's legislator, and last year was appointed to be communications commissioner. There are so many roles that fall under the executive vice president position, including overseeing all the clubs and organizations, reviewing club charters, maintaining the club website, planning the homecoming parade, and most importantly, being a leader within student government. One of the responsibilities of the vice president is to take charge of legislature meetings. However, I believe the system we currently have in place is, has not been effective. This year, a group of students started the Legislature Reform Committee. As part of this committee, I can testify that we are working diligently to revamp and reform legislature to last for years to come. I'm the only vice presidential candidate who was selected to be a member of this committee, and I hope that you consider which candidate is evidently the most dedicated to improving student life at NB. This year, I made a promise to increase communication between student government and the student body. One of the ideas I brought to SG was to create a student life podcast to give students a platform to promote their own events. NB on Air is just one example of how I commit to any project I know will benefit the student body. As co-president of two clubs, I know exactly what type of action and collaboration our clubs want to see from the student government. Something I want to add to the chartering process is a way for potential clubs to prove that there is student interest either by collecting signatures or having a me meeting prior to being chartered to record attendance, proving why they deserve club status. I also want potential clubs to provide a timeline of their plans for each month so we can keep track of what they are doing. I promise you that when you elect me, I will be willing to compromise, collaborate, and take initiative to advocate for you. I will never ever push for something if it isn't what the students want. What I want is to listen to student voices and do whatever I can to bring their ideas to life. I promise to improve relations between the representatives and the student body by acting as your voice during discussions. Don't forget to vote this Friday to make your voice heard and have the best school year yet. Hi, my name is Robbie, and I'm aspiring to be your next executive vice president. Whether it be blasting music at the GWC in the morning, or running around campus trying to get my next visionary idea approved, or working in the dean's office or the school store, passion and positivity drive everything that I do. I live my life with the hopes that every person I encounter has a positive memory connected with the experience that I brought them. My hope is that I will leave this message on our student body. As the only senior candidate, I can confidently say I have been in your shoes, and I will do whatever it takes to make sure that something that you want gets approved to make this school year the best time of your life.
I've been nicknamed the cruise director of our school, and I'm always searching for ways to increase community involvement and innovate ways and programs so that everyone finds their spark of joy on our campus. The role of the executive vice president has traditionally been to oversee clubs and student organizations, along with all the responsibilities associated with that. I'm not going to stand here and waste your time telling you what the executive vice president should and should not do because I'm so much more than that. I want you to know that I'm a go-getter who's resilient and will not stop until my goal is retrieved. I promise I will work diligently making sure your ideas and opinions are heard and given the best shot to be executed. With the revision of our new legislature and my experience in student government, now is the time to pick the candidate who will perform beyond the role's expected duties and utilize the changes to provide a powerful, exciting opportunities for the student body from now and years to come. In my crazy mind, I see NB as a Disney World, and I know that if you give me the opportunity to be your executive vice president, you will see that too. I miss you and hope to see you soon. Let's make NB a lifestyle and vote for Robbie for executive vice president on April 24th. My name is Logan Roth, and I will be the next executive secretary. For the past two years, I've had the privilege to be a part of student government, where I served as a sophomore class president and the freshman class secretary treasurer. I was able to authentically observe how important strong leadership is for our school and how everyone works as a team. I have been involved in numerous events and fundraisers for North Broward, such as War of the Wings, Campus Cleanups, Mr. NB, Lakeside Holiday Parties, Homecoming Weeks, February Spirit Weeks, the Sadie Hawkins Dance, and much more. As Executive Secretary, it is essential to note the importance and balance that this position brings to student government every day. Holding a secretary position during my freshman year of student government, I have now mastered what it takes for achievement. Even without holding the position, I have successfully withheld the duties and responsibilities that follow the executive secretary role. For example, I have taken executive secretary notes multiple times, documented overall attendance at legislator meetings, and much more. I want NB to make a positive impact on our community. I chose to run for executive secretary as I want to dive into a more active role in our student government and I enhance what I've already built upon in order to facilitate our impact on the MB community and the community at large. I am enthusiastic, organized, devoted, and passionate in all that I do. I cannot wait to get started in my new role as executive secretary. Thanks everyone. My name is Cassie Amin, and this is my third year at North Broward and my third year as a student government legislator. I'm running for executive treasurer, and I'm sure right now the position of executive treasurer only seems important to me, but I assure all of you that this position should be important to all of you as well. Whoever's in this position is going to have a large say on the school events and fundraisers that make up your high school experience. I want to assure all of you that I will do my best job and I have the background to be successful. I have created and planned service events since my freshman year at North Broward, starting with St. Baldrick's. And since then, I have not only continued my involvement with St. Baldrick's, but I've also planned many more service events through Interact Club, Key Club, Samaritans 365 Club, and National Honor Society. Additionally, I understand different parts of the student body as I've played a varsity sport, been involved in different sections of the fine arts through photography, film, and debate. I've been involved in a number of clubs and honor societies, and I want to hear from each student's opinions. I hope that as executive treasurer, I can improve your high school experiences and want all of you to feel comfortable coming up to me and talking to me, talking to me about what student government can be doing better. I want the best for you and our school.